The following program is a paid presentation. The views and or opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the staff and management of KWAM. This is Wake Up Memphis, brought to you by the Memphis Police Association. 67 shots fired. Back up, back up, it's an automatic weapon. He's firing at us. I got rounds in the door of my car. It's time to wake up. Well, I'm going to tell you this. The police are necessary. And you may not like the police, but if, in fact, you're going to have the police, then you should want quality officers. Because if you have not been paying attention to the news, Memphis is off the chain. That's why we need quality officers. She said, baby, she said, I used to talk so bad about the police department all the time. I said, all y'all did was set up a map code and drink coffee and eat donuts. She said, well, baby, I'm going to tell you this. She said, from this day forward, I'm going to keep my mouth off of y'all. Y'all got a hard job. And, and I was glad that she was able to see that, you know, and it gave her a different perspective. And talk about what you think about gun violence in the city, you know, in the city of Memphis or around the world, what the solution, what you think the solution was. That we're going to increase youth activities in this city to draw them out of the streets. And I'm not talking about just playing at it and talking about it. I'm talking about take some of these community centers and put computer labs in them. Put television rooms on, put audiovisual labs, put recording studios, put uh, uh, game rooms, put, <laughs> hello, we can even invest in them on the front end because some people say, well, Michael, that costs money. We don't want to spend our money. You're spending money to incarcerate them. You're spending money to incarcerate them. Sometimes just the presence deter crime. Back into community policing, sir. Wake up, Memphis, from behind the badge. Brought to you by the men and women of the Memphis Police Association. And my name is Mike Williams, president of the Memphis Police Association. And it is a beautiful day in the city of Memphis. I was actually listening to... Um, the 19 Strong Show, and evidently uh, they had a good show. Uh, I was tripping on them, especially tripping on Dula and uh, Crazy Chet, you know. And I heard them talking about Justin Ford, and it was like, well, you know, if he did it, we want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that may be the crap out there, woman, man. Uh, did he? Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, the way it was told to me is that because I, I ain't see the uh, case on the news, they said that uh, you know said it is to the uh, aspect he just maybe hit her. He shouldn't put his hands on a period. But uh, after uh, hearing the other logistics about it, uh, I'm, I'm coming to realize that it was a vicious attack on the lady. You know, and that's that's no good. Uh, it ain't that's good no at all. Good. You know, I am a I am. Uh, I, I don't believe in. Yeah, how much whiskey? Do I don't believe. No, I don't believe in putting your hands on women. Period. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't believe in women putting their hands on men. Uh, I, I'm very adverse uh, when it comes to that too, because I know we focus a lot of times on domestic violence that's perpetrated against women, but you have a lot of women out there that perpetrate domestic violence against men as well, and whether it be physical abuse, or verbal abuse. Uh, sometimes verbal abuse is even worse than physical abuse because verbal abuse actually, um, it lasts it's, it, it, in your memories. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like you can't get rid of it because, you know, um, you know, when, it, and it amazed me a lot of times because you want a man to be a man, but see, a woman knows how to break a man down verbally, you know? Like a spirit go through you. Man, what? Have, you, have your wife ever seen something make, make you about to pass out? Man, my wife do it. My <laughs> wife. Hey, do like, my wife do it all the time, man. man be like, you know what, what I mean? And I have to back up. I have to, because I don't, I'm, I'm one of them ones, when I get into confrontation like that, especially with a woman, I back all the way up and I get quiet. Because, and that, that, a lot of times that pisses a woman off even more when you get quiet. You know what I mean? 
Don't you hear me talking to you? You heard what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said, but I'm trying to, you know, trying to chill a little bit. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't want to. I don't want you to throw me off my square. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? I don't want you throwing me off my square. And I know that if I get into this heated verbal confrontation with you, then there is the possibility that something may happen. So I am one of those ones that's very reserved, and I'll just back all the way up. But like I said, pisses her off even more. Mm. A real man. I said, you know what? See, you can't. You See, you have to be smarter than the average bear, Dula. Because, see, when you start talking that real man crap to me, first of all, you ain't a man. So you cannot tell me what a real man would do. You can only tell me what you assume Church. a real man would do or Church. from your observations, what you like in a man. But you have oh, some man. women that like abusive men and you think mm. that that's being a man. But let me tell you what a real and man does. A real man will stand back, reassess the situation. He will take his time. And he will not necessarily reply in anger <clears throat> because see, the Bible says that the man is the head of the house and he gives a man the wisdom to be able to lead and guide that house. But see, some women don't really want men to be that leader that God wants them to be. They want they have another perception of what they think a man should be. So, you know, and 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 and, and then, you know, I, I break out with the. Uh, a real man displays strength. And he displays strength in that. He allowed you the opportunity to be able to say what you got to say, get it off your chest. And with wisdom, he rebuts what you have to say, as opposed to all of that craziness. So sometimes God gives men the ability to defuse and bring down that situation and a lot of that's what a real man does anyway Timberly just walked in late but that's okay <laughs> Timberly just walked in and all that time i'm talking about what a real man is and what a strong man she would have gone mm. <laughs> no i was shaking my head in agreement with you don't lie on me Mike. i'm just kidding Timberly. Ooh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't be going Facebook Live on me up in this joint. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? But we already got a call at Timberly. I had a couple of things. Uh, actually, Spencer uh, from Spencer Fitness Center, which is at Oak Grove Baptist Church out there in Frazier, they're having a uh, 6K next Saturday. He was supposed to be in the studio today. But I don't know what happened. But Maybe gonna, he's running. We're going to pump up. Well, you know, I run into a lot of women all over the city that are going through his program. So he has a lot of good things going on okay. out there in Frazier. Uh, uh, he's put the, he put this uh, 6K on. Uh, last year was the first year that he did it. But, you know, I, I thought it was just a 6K as well. But when Is I it got, a 5K or a 6K? Well, a lot of people are doing 6Ks now. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, okay, so we I added think on the extra I'm gonna, K. I'm going to try to pull it up. We did a 6K, the police association. We did a 6K, not a 5K. Okay, that's what's up. Can I talk about Justin Ford for a second? No, hold on. we get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. You never let me do anything I want to do. That is not true. You, <laughs> you always get yours in anyway. But uh, he has a 6K. And when I got out there, I found out that those guys, man, they, give a, they have a, 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 a clothes closet. Uh, they were giving away food. Uh, to individuals within the community. Uh, it was all kinds of good things going on out there. So kudos to Spencer out there at Spencer Fitness, uh, and he moved it into Oak Grove Baptist Church. And I'm running into women all over the city that are actually in his program. Uh, when I went out there last year, I actually ran the uh, 6K, it's 5K, 6K, whichever K it is. I'm going to look it up in a minute. But I actually ran it with them, and them women embarrassed me. I'm a, I have no problem with giving them their kudos, man. Them women See, that's out. what a real man does. Exactly. A real well, man. Let me tell you something. I will give a woman her prop. I ain't got no problem with it because it don't make me any less of a man. I know who I am. Hey, man, I'm, Mike. I'm good with me. You better know who you I'm good. are. You know, most people say I'm cocky and overconfident anyway, but. It ain't that. I just know who I am. I ain't got no problem. If you can outrun me, you can outrun me. But <laughs> the race does not always go to the swift, but to those that endure. 
and hang on because I'm going to weigh you down. <laughs> but anyway, we got another call. We got a call on the line already. The number to call is 260-5926, 260-5926 if you want to be a part of this conversation. And I do have a couple of things I want to talk about. But, hey, go ahead, caller. You're on Wake Up Memphis. How you doing, Michael? How you, I mean, uh, Officer Mike Williams, I want to keep it professional. How you doing, Officer Mike Williams? Okay. Yeah, no, you're, no, you're a pit bull because you finally got <laughs> the respect they are giving to you because I heard you uh, <clears throat> finally got a raise, and I said you're not doing all of it in vain. It's not just showing tail. It's not just being, you know, like a rebel without a cause. Right. You finally got a raise, and people, it, it might take time. It's called perseverance. Mm -hmm. How you doing, uh, is it, uh, Timberly? Is it, is Timberly? I thought you, know, you said you drive a Mercedes Benz. I thought no, she no, Alan. Let me get that straight. No, my you. father drives a Mercedes Benz. Well, you, I you drive a BMW. <laughs> BMW. Right, but you drive an expensive car, right? No, you drive an expensive car. When I first heard it on the. On the wire, on the news, I said, "What's going on in Memphis?" I said, "I thought it was because you were saying people are hating on your car." I'm not gonna make no excuse for a homeboy because he's younger. That's why I said that a lot of people say. Uh, I just said that I would protest I'd never eat another church's chicken because most people get they don't have witnesses. They don't have a witness. Well, Alan, you talk about church's chicken way up there in Baltimore? Yeah. Yeah, they got one up there. Yeah, because I call, uh, they got them in Popeye's, they got a uh, KFC. See, you know why? Black folks, we're losing our mind because it's so hard on us. We'll never condone wrong because we ought to been thinking about the Sabbath day because it, it happened on uh, Sunday night. This is why I say I would tell him he's a reflection of his father. I, I tell him to his face. Mm. Anybody do that, try to blind somebody just because you're riding in a car, it's crazy to me. <laughs> blind? <laughs> so this is why I say I'm not going to make an excuse. Uh, if they don't do nothing to him, I'll never eat another church's chicken. So I'm coming with y'all. <laughs> mm. So you ain't got black folks like chicken anyway, but I hope we don't like wrongdoing. Mm. No, people in general like, like chicken. It's not just black people. Everybody no, likes it. chicken. <laughs> Everybody likes chicken. Timberlake, I said Timberlake. I'm going to bed for you. I'm saying there's enough domestic violence going on in these urban cities. If we don't uh, stop to that, somebody gonna be whooping on your head the next time. Oh, ain't mm. nobody gonna whoop on my head because Mr. Carter will come through and shut it down. No. Nobody's whooping on me. Mm. Well, I never. Well, I'm, I'm standing up for the other sisters since you're not standing. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oh, no, I haven't said my piece on Justin Ford yet. I'm going to take him to task. Y'all know how I do. No, I, I haven't cut her loose yet, uh, Alan. I haven't cut her loose yet. She's been, she been talking like a bit. I can't wait. Mike, I'm not saying anything I was giving you. I'm just saying I never go on that corporate on that park, parking lot that corporation car. Most people get beat in the in the back room and you don't have any witness. Right. If, if those people are, are corporate people, they are credible people. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's not like no drunk or no person walking around with a crack in the nose and well, I saw old old boy act a fool. You know, I subject to credibility. These yeah. people work in a corporation. Right. But Mike, this is why I say give yourself kudos because uh you're bigger than Thomas Malone because uh, a lot of people say, why we didn't get a raise? You know, you have to demand uh, leadership or management to respect you. You finally got your respect. When you put those billboards up, you don't care what the naysayers are saying. You want to make sure you get your 4.6 and what's due uh, to you is called due process. That's why I said that uh, you and Thomas uh, Malone need to do a show together because it's power in numbers. Mm, you, keep, you keep doing what you're doing because this what I'm saying. It's not Jim Strickland's personal bank account. Even with minority contract, it's not his personal bank account. Right. If you beg it, most people are demanding. Mm -hmm. Thank you, now. All right, thank you so much, Alan. Hey, I, I did pull it up. Uh, I pulled up Spencer. It's going to be the second annual 5K Peace Run is what they're going to do out there in Fraser. Uh, it promotes nonviolence in the city of Memphis communities. Uh, registration is 6.30. What? A.M.? 7.30. No. 6.30 to 7.15 a.m. is registration. Oh, for registration. Okay. Yeah, or you can go online to www.raceentry.com. It's going to be located at 2168 Fraser Boulevard, Memphis, Tennessee, 38127. And he said you can either come out and volunteer, you can sponsor, or you can participate. And guess what? He's doing this in conjunction with the Memphis Police Association Charitable foundation 
And man, he he gave us a check last year. You know, everybody all I'm we always giving people checks, but it's very rarely that people give us checks. So last year, <clears throat> uh, a lot of the proceeds from the race he actually donated to the Memphis Police Association Charitable Foundation. And they're on the 6th of May, they're also going to have Frazier versus Tresman round four. Battle of the Bay, baby. <laughs> Battle of the Bay. It's an alumni uh, basketball game. It's going to be Saturday, May 6, 2017. Doors open at 5 o'clock p.m. Game time, 6 o'clock p.m. Adult admission, only $10. Kids admission, only $5. And it will be at the Martin Luther King Jr. Preparatory High School. Uh, and that's uh, 1530 Dalewood Avenue. That's the old Frazier High School. Uh, so that's going to be next Saturday at 5 o'clock p.m. I might have to take off that day. I don't know. Jesus. Ooh, just so much going on. But it's the second annual 5K Peace Run uh, sponsored by Spencer Total Fitness. And Spencer Total Fitness is also going to be sponsoring this basketball game as well. I am so sad that Spencer wasn't able to make it into the studio today. I did want to chop it up with him. But that's okay. I'm going to chop it up with Timberly today. Okay, Timberly, you've been waiting and just chomping at the bit to get at Mr. Ford. Do I need to hit the dump button? You ain't going to say nothing bad, are you? Oh, I'm going to keep it clean. Okay, come on. Come on. What you talking about? Okay. So I just want to start by saying any man that hits a woman is a punk. Okay? Well, I don't know about all that, but okay. I don't, uh, you already heard me say, I don't agree with men hitting women. I don't agree with that. Uh, okay. So it, look. But it's according to the circumstance too. Well, okay, this is my thing. If you want to get up there, my mom always told me, the great Vicky Moore. Mm. My mom always told me. The Rim Doctor. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. My mom always told me, don't try to fight a man. Uh, there if you go. you hit him. There you go. Then you're just going to make him mad. Mm. But if he hit you, if he hit you in the right place, he could kill you. So I don't put my hands on my husband. I don't fight men. I don't have time for that. I don't even fight women. I you know, I have personal philosophies behind that, but I don't want to step on any toes, so I'm going to leave it at that. Look, Justin Ford, mm. <clears throat> sir, I need you to have multiple seats in the rear section in the highest pew of the FedEx Forum away from anybody's line of sight. You need to go away, sir. Um, I have been talking to people um, Hit the dub button, Dula. <laughs> Man. Just kidding. And Ooh, I, from what, I need to from go what I've been told, this isn't the first time he's had a domestic violence incident mm. from somebody who went to school with him back in the day mm. and went to school with his folk. Mm. So I'm going to need somebody in the news media because I'm a former media member. Mm -hmm. Somebody currently working, you know, commercial appeal, Fox 13, somebody. Um, they already have. You, well, they already have. I I can't watch. Well, look, Justin Ford, for you to get on the news, you can't last 10 seconds without laughing in a news camera from the front of the CJC to get into your black SUV. It makes you look guilty, sir. Not only does it make you look guilty, it makes you look childish for you to... Get on TV and you smiling and waving and you have a DV charge. DV gets police officers fired every day. Yes, okay? it does. So for you to be a county commissioner holding a seat, supposedly being a role model for the youth, and you're waving, you might as well have pulled the full Donald Trump and had some people line up outside with some We Support Justin signs. Sir, Please, you need to reevaluate your life, the way you carry yourself, and your haircut. <clears throat> and your haircut. And your haircut. Jesus. You're Jesus. hard, Timberly. The number to call is 260-5926. 260-5926 if you want to weigh in on this. If you got something you want to say about them. This is, uh, well, it was Domestic Violence Month, I believe. Uh, uh, when so. he hit her? No, yeah. I'm saying this, April. Was he celebrating? That's not funny. 
No, no, no. I'm asking a question because yeah. you know <laughs> some Man, people like some people are a little touched in the head and they think uh, that I ain't finna mess with you, Timberland. No, no. I don't I don't rock with Justin Ford. I feel you. And I, I know you. some I know some Fords and I like the Fords that I know. Mm-hmm. Um I've never met him personally. If I have, I don't remember mm-hmm. um being in the same room with him. But based on his behavior from the way that he's cur- carried himself publicly, mm. from the way that he's handled these allegations and, you know, just acting as if he's untouchable. It's not cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's it's not cute. Mm. And to play cute for something that is as serious mm. as a domestic violence issue, whether it be physical um, or um, verbal domestic violence, um, when you alter someone's life like that, Turning them into a victim. That's nothing to be played with. It's not a joke. And mm. I, I think he needs to resign. And I agree with you wholeheartedly. I definitely, as you What? Well, Mike Williams like, agrees <clears throat> with me? Well, yes, I do. Uh, you know, well, you know, uh, right is right and wrong is wrong. Amen. Uh, I, you know, I told you I am not an advocate of anybody putting their hands on women. And definitely, you know, when we talk about our elected officials. Now, I will tell you that uh, when you walked in earlier, we were talking about how there are a lot of men that are victims of domestic violence as well, because you have some overzealous females or some overconfident females or some females that are substance abusers and they have a man that wants to stand by them. But uh, that man puts himself in harm's way uh, simply because of, uh, all in the name of love. Uh, or the that's same what, reason well, women That's do what it. they think it is anyway, love. But we got another caller. The number to call is 2605926, 2605926. If you want to be a part of this conversation, right now, Timberley's talking about Justin Ford and his behavior. Uh, if you want to contribute to that, you're more than welcome to call in. Uh, 2605926. Go ahead, caller. You're on Wake Up Memphis. Hey, how are you all doing today? Hey, fine. How are you? I'm good, good. I just wanted to comment on a couple of things. Go ahead. Um, it's in reference to what you were saying about men uh, being also victims of domestic violence, uh-huh. a lot of times men, when they go, they're embarrassed to go and talk about yes. what has happened to them because a lot of people feel like, okay, well, you're a man and you let this happen to you. But, you know, it, it just, it's just, it's hard. It's a hard situation both ways. Mm-hmm. Um I'm, I'm a believer that a woman should keep her hands to herself as well as a man should keep his hands to himself. Mm-hmm. I do believe that if you can escape a situation uh, where if you're a man and a woman is putting her hands on you, then leave yes. before it turns into something worse. Mm-hmm. You know, try to de- de-escalate the situation. But a lot of times you have a lot of women, and I'm not speaking in this situation because I don't know the whole story. Um, but... From what I hear, it was pretty bad. And if it went the way that I heard, then that's just awful. Yes. But a lot of times you do have a lot of women that will not let a man leave or will try to keep him there. Uh-huh. And we, we're all human and we all have temper. And we all have things, uh, limits that we get pushed to. And sometimes it's just not a situation of where it's a good thing. Exactly. And you just need to let, let them go. Everybody needs to go down on separate corners and cool off or whatever it is, because it can turn pretty ugly. Mm. And, and and we don't want anybody. And and we're seeing, even in the city of Memphis, you know, we had the gentleman that killed his wife and her sister not too long ago. Uh, we're having more the and more. The man who shot his wife in the driveway. I actually know the people who own the house in Fox Meadow. Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and the young girl, the well, she, the, 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 the wife, she was actually a uh, student over at Remington, and I work over there part time on Tuesday. What Fox Meadows or the wife and the sister? The wife and the sister. Okay. <clears throat> the wife and the sister. Uh, they actually go to. Well, uh, she was a, a student uh, at uh, Remington College, and actually they had Remington College graduation on last night, and that was you know uh, we just have so many, so many, so many young ladies. Uh, and those are the ones that are in the news because just like you said, a lot of the men are uh, too ashamed 
to actually bring to light. And uh, maybe I ought to do a show on that. Men that have been abused, uh, please call in. If you've been abused as a man out there right now, please call in 260-5926, 260-5926. Not I'm you. calling in. Man. And, I, and, I, I'm call, I'm and I want you to hear, hear it <laughs> right, so that you can share your story with us. You don't have to give us your name, uh, but we would like to uh, hear your story because I, I think that we do need to bring to light that there are men that are also victims of domestic violence. And a lot of people don't know. Um, they don't pay attention to the warning signs. When I was um, when I was 17 and 18, I was in a relationship, and he used to pinch me. Mm. And he, he'd say little things, mm-hmm. and he'd pinch me. And um, I didn't realize it until my mom and I had a conversation about what was going on. He never put his hands on me. Um, but he would pinch me. Mm-hmm. And we watched an episode of Oprah talking about domestic violence. And um, we just had a candid conversation. And she kind of explained to me what was going on. And I was like, my God, I'm I'm glad that I just off instinct was like, okay, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Because it got to the point where we would argue every day. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't have every day to be arguing with you. Got I'm, stuff to I'm do. in college. I'm, you know, trying to accomplish things. I'm going to need you to have a good day, sir. Mm. And I mean, voicemails with crying and songs oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. all that. But at the end of the day, if you allow it to continuously happen, if you don't remove yourself from the situation, then it's going to escalate. It starts with something as simple as somebody telling you what you're not or what you're not going to do or where you're Mm -hmm. not going to go. Mm -hmm. And then if they get away with that, then it evolves and it evolves and it evolves. And then you're picking yourself up off the floor. Mm. I've never been hit in the face. I've never been, you know, punched or, you know, but it it starts somewhere, and I think we all need to realize that it starts somewhere. And if you are a man and you're being abused, it does not make you weak to not defend yourself mm. in the way that the world says that you should. You don't have to hit that woman. Mm. Um, say that you're going to the store and just don't, don't come, come back. back. All right, we still uh, okay, Carla. <laughs> Since we got that soliloquy from Timberly there, uh, you got anything else you want to add? No, you guys have a great day. Hey, thank, thank you, you so calling. much for calling. Yeah, the number to call is 260-5926, 260-5926. And evidently, Timberly then took this to a Justin Ford domestic violence uh, conversation. Uh, go ahead, caller. You're on Wake Up Memphis from behind the patch. You're on the air. Go ahead. Um, yeah, how y'all doing, man? Hey, what's going on, Doc? Uh, nothing much. How you doing, Timberly? How are you doing? I'm, I'm fine. doing fine. <laughs> um, I just wanted to comment on what y'all was saying about Justin Ford, and I agree with y'all that he needs to resign. Oh. You know, I don't agree with a man putting their hands on a woman. Right. And for you to be at church's chicken, bro, out in public, fighting, first of all, you're a councilman, and you should be held to a higher standard mm. because you are a councilman. Mm-hmm. And like y'all said, MPD, Mrs. Fire Department, everybody loses their job every day for domestic violence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you're at that church's chicken fighting in the parking lot. I mean, he should resign. Right. He should be held to a higher standard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to let y'all know that I agree with that. Okay. Um, and I mean, for this not even to be his first instant, okay. you know, it, it, it kind of looks real bad for him to come out of jail smiling and laughing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hope uh, that that's not just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't finna go there, but you're definitely right, sir. Uh, I, I am in agreement with you. Uh, when you hold those positions, you're definitely held to a higher standard. And I think that, uh, you know, I was thinking about this on the way in when I was listening to 19 strong. <clears throat> and I know that some acts because if, and, and I think he has an ankle bracelet on as well. Uh, because wow. they want to monitor his movement. Good. Okay. Somebody needs to know where well, he is. Well, but, but in saying that, you know, you're going to have county, and he's a county commissioner, not, let me clarify that, he's a county not commissioner, a, yeah, not, not a, a council person. So I was wondering, the next council meeting, will he be in attendance at the next council meeting? Here it is. You are up on criminal charges and felony criminal charges, not just shoplifting. You're talking about aggravated domestic violence, which is a felony. 
because evidently he held her captive and he choked her as well, supposedly. Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah. So now are they are your fellow commissioners going to allow you the ability to be able to continue to sit at the county commission meeting and make decisions uh, in regards to the operations of the county of Shelby, when you're talking, uh, I believe it's over a billion dollar budget, uh, because a lot of places, if you are under, you know, for instance, if you're in a police department and you're accused and not even found guilty, but accused of domestic violence, you're suspended. You can't act in the capacity of a police officer right. because we don't want you representing the police department uh, because we don't know whether you're good, bad, indifferent. You know, we don't want to pass judgment to say you're already guilty. But at the same time, you need to be taken out of that position of responsibility and kind of put on the shelf for a minute until we can kind of kind of kind of sort this thing out. So I, I am I am curious and I am going to be watching because I was it was running through my mind. What are we what are they going to do with Justin Ford now? But just like you said, Timberly, I've seen signs. Way back when, uh, even through, coming up during some of the elections when they were, you know, I don't know if you remember when they found out that he lived over there off of Tulane, Tulane, right there, Tulane and Holmes in those apartments, you know, but you know, they went out there and interviewed people and they said, my, they be smoking weed over here. They be doing this. They be doing that. Nobody paid attention. Then they said the apartment was empty. Nobody really lived there. You know, uh, it was only there because he had to have a residence. Uh, that was actually in that district because he ran for that district because the forts are strong down in that area because you got the funeral homes, you got two, three funeral homes down there. So he's pulling a Henry Brooks. Hello. And I think Henry Brooks was the one who actually brought it up as well. But anyway, but yeah. But <laughs> she's not going good. down alone, huh? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, anything else, sir? Well, I just wanted to say, I mean, if Justin Ford wants to go around fighting in public, he, he should at least try to fight some of these things that's going on in Memphis. Mm. I mean, because for him to be sitting on the council and in a position like that, he he's fighting the wrong fight. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to say that. Right. And um, I don't think his fellow council members should continue to let him make decisions. Right. At least not right now. Okay. I agree with you wholeheartedly, sir. All right. So I have a nice day. Okay. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for calling and please call again. All right. I just want to say this. If fellow um, commissioners, if his uh, fellow commissioners allow him to take a seat next to them, um, they need to be held accountable as well. They need to answer to somebody as to why you they are allowing gonna cut nobody no slack around For here. what? I, if I was a county commissioner, this man that's put his hands on a woman, he's not going to sit down next to me. Not I. You Rev Moore's daughter, ain't you? Sure am. <laughs> hey, Mama. I'm on the radio. <laughs> you Rev Moore's daughter, ain't you? You're I not going to sit next to me. Okay, Timberly. I mean, I would get up and leave the meeting. So you would, that would be your protest then? Yeah, that that would be my protest. You're not going to sit next to me and make decisions, but you're out here uh, beating on some woman. Because mm. I can guarantee you, if we made him stand outside with a group of men that don't tolerate women beaters, and I got some folks in my family that we can go ahead and sit him down in a room with, he's not going to show up. So you're going to show up to put your hands on a woman, but you won't fight no man. Ooh. What's up, friend? Oh, Jesus. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> man, what? That's that vigilante justice or something. I mean, okay. and I'm not, I am not um, advocating for violence here. I'm just saying. Sounded like. Don't put your, if you can't put your hands on somebody, your own strength and size, then you need to have a seat on putting your hands on anybody. Outstanding. The old saying is. Pick on somebody else's eyes. Mm. Hey, and another call is 260-5926, 260-5926, and we're discussing domestic violence. Hey, and like I said, I ain't going to give, I ain't going to turn it over to all the women all the time. 
uh, there are some men that are victims of domestic violence. I want to I want to make that perfectly, perfectly, perfectly clear. Yes, there uh, are. it's not just women. Uh, I don't condone domestic violence in no shape, form or fashion. I don't condone demeaning people. I don't condone being physically abusive to anybody. I don't condone holding anybody captive against their own will. I don't agree uh, or, 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 or advocate for any of that. Whatever sex, race, creed, color, I don't care. I don't think it's right. I think that people are free and I think that people need to be able to move freely. But I also think that you have the freedom to say, you know what? You need to go on about your business. <clears throat> but I do understand, ladies, that there are a lot of times there are situations to where as you can't or you want to walk away but you can't walk away because the individuals are holding you physically captive or mentally captive, or you feel as though uh, they have you economically bound as well. So, uh, you know, but I will tell you in the long run, even if it's economically bound or whatever, <laughs> do lie your holler about Jesus. But I will tell you, even you if they have though. you economically bound, it's bad for your kids in the long run because it is being determined and studied that a lot of this is reciprocal or. Uh, it perpetuates the cycle. Yeah. Cyclic. That's the word I was looking Cyclical. for. Cyclical. Cyclical. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Anyway, we have another caller. <laughs> okay, caller, you are on Wake Up Memphis from behind the badge. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, Mike? Hey, what's up, Doc? Hey, uh, ladies. Oh Lord, Timberland. and I, I don't you start I, no I, stuff, man. I promise, I promise, I'm going to be good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know this your show, but don't you start no yeah, stuff. I, Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to be good today. Okay. So, so let me ask the ladies: Has Justin Ford, and I'm not a Justin Ford lover, uh, has Justin Ford been convicted of anything? No. Not oh, yet. you're asking me? Yeah. Oh, no, no, not that I know of, no. Um, so, but, but you've already crucified him, correct? No, 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 he crucified himself when he stepped no, down no, no. laughing in the camera. He did that. But a man that hadn't been convicted of anything can smile all he wants to, correct? Yeah, uh-huh. So, I haven't what? convicted him of anything. I'm not a juror. But you've already told him to step down and I sure do have. this and do that. But he hadn't been convicted of anything. Okay. Let the man, let the man, and the other caller kept saying he's on the city council. He's not on the city council. He's on the county commission. Well, we, we corrected him on that already. Yeah. But let's not crucify him before he has his say so in court or whatever. Okay. So let me get to another point about domestic violence. Okay. Ladies, ladies, do you think that? Women today, uh, let's say, how should I put this? Give the cookies too quickly, and that causes because. Do you, do you think, sir? I need to stop you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to stop you right now. <clears throat> what kind of cookies, man? Okay, let's let's. Some more. I, I want to step back for a second because you're saying ladies, and I am a Gemini, but it's only one of me. Mm. Um, oh, okay. but let's be clear. I don't care if five minutes into the first date I drop it off. No, that don't give you the right yeah. to put your hands on me yeah, or yeah, to disrespect know, me in I'm any not, type I'm of way. Mm. I'm not condoning domestic violence in any form, shape, or fashion. But let's get to the root of the problem. If women or men would stop giving up their jewels so quickly, what? men, men and women would not. Get so feely, feely into you. Get no, to no, know no, the no. person. Get to know the person <laughs> first. <laughs> it's men. It's first. men. Domestic violence has been happening since the foundation of the earth, when people were getting married and then um, having intercourse. So that's not. Something domestic violence isn't this new concept that started over in America. If you go back, um, there are still states in well, these I'm United gonna, States on the law well, books where domestic violence is okay if you I'm beat asking, your wife on no, the steps well, of the courthouse. So, well, no, let's not you. bring that no, into no, it. No, mm. The question was will it help the situation if more couples would start getting to know each other first 
before they have intercourse. That way they'll get to know each other first. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you know, uh, and, and you understand what I'm, you understand where I'm going with that. I, I understand, I, I, but I, the answer still no. Sir. I understand where you're going, but I'm going to tell you that uh, everything is personality and situational driven. Uh, you you have people that uh, when they talk about you know uh, first love, or when they talk right. about love at first sight, you can see somebody and fall in love with them at first sight, but you don't know their personality. You have individuals that play games, okay? And even if, you know, you got guys that will, or young ladies that will woo you, and they will whine and dine you, and they'll get you caught up in that web, uh, and then when they feel that they have you, they'll spring that trap, and they'll do this for years, and you still don't know their personality because they're not necessarily displaying it to you. But when they're not with you, they're displaying it to old girl out there in the streets or that hooker that that he's dealing with, or when he going up in the strip club. You understand? What Can I'm we saying? get everybody to stand up and salute Mike Williams Whatever. today? Whatever. This man on it today. <laughs> yeah. That man on a game. Whatever. But I, but I, but I'm I just on a woman at all. Right. I've never even I've never even raised my voice to a woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know how to just walk away. Exactly. Women, women know how to get on your skin. Yeah, man. They know how to. They know how to get loud. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I... Go ahead, Timberly. I, what? I, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and listen. I'm leaving Jackson, Tennessee, right now. Go okay. Okay. Right, okay. Keep listening, please. Keep okay. listening. <laughs> okay. So in this society, women are often blamed for crimes against them. And um, I actually opened up my on this day on my Facebook page and I was talking because uh, this time last year I had just had my daughter. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people always ask me, well, you know, why is it that you didn't want a girl? And normally I just say boys are just more fun because they jump off the couch, they get hurt, they Mm -hmm. keep going, blah, Mm -hmm. blah, blah. And so I broke it down last year on this day and I explained. So you had a daughter. Yes, I have a daughter. Okay. She's one now. Um, so I explained, uh, women are raped, and instead of mm. saying mm. men don't do this to women, it's women, um, you should dress more modestly. You shouldn't do this or talk like this or express yourself in this way mm-hmm. as if it gives a man a right to put his hands on a woman or to take something that was not um, freely given to him. Mm. We need to stop this boys will be boys culture or what did the woman do to make the man mad? We need to stop blaming the victims in I, situations I, I and agree. train our boys to keep them hand to keep their hands to themselves and be um reasonable human beings. Mm-hmm. Women have often been treated like meat for far too long. Mm. And I'm tired of it. Mm. If I want to walk out in a pair of shorts that's up to my navel, that doesn't give a man a right to take something from me. Now, mm. I'm not going to do it because, you I know. I know Mr. Carter wouldn't agree with no, that. No, Mr. Carter going to be like, um, if you don't turn around, my <laughs> mate, <laughs> and go change. I love you so much, but we're not going out the I, house. And like I'd that. be snitching, Mr. Carter. Look, and I wouldn't do it because, you know, I just, uh, that's not my style right, of right, dress. Right, But I have worn tight dresses and, mm. um dresses with my back out before and I've carried myself classily. I actually got into an issue at Fire and Ice where the man decided he was going to grab my behind. I was, you know, it was my birthday. I had on a nice little gold dress that hadn't even been put out into stores from BB that the lady I was in New York when I bought the dress and she was like, your birthday's coming up. Let me show you what's coming out. It's, mm-hmm. We're not going to release it till next month, but you can see it. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, yes, I want that dress that's on that poster right there. And I looked good. And he thought he was going to grab him a handful mm. and he grabbed him a face full <laughs> for touching me. So you are violent. No, I am protecting myself. Mm. And then he had the nerve to tell my friend um, that I shouldn't walk out the house like that if I don't want to be grabbed. No, you need to keep your hands to yourself unless I tell you you can grab it. Mm -hmm. You can look all day long, but don't touch. I know I look good, but just because I look good doesn't mean you have the right to see what it feels like. Mr. Carter, come get your wife. 
Mr. Carter agrees. But you know what? Uh, and 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 I'm just kidding, Timberly. I know. I, I, but it's just this, I, I, this I, gets I, under I, my skin. I agree as well. And it should get under your skin because, you know, there is so much going on in this city, period, when you talk about uh, how, you know, like you stated, for some reason, a male-dominant society has always tried to deem that it was the woman's responsibility to not dress provocatively or to entice or to whatever. Now, I believe in women dressing modestly to a degree, but I also believe in women having the freedom to do as they please. Man, I was in Cancun uh, two weeks ago. (laughs) They were running around naked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, Mike, Mike Williams wasn't doing it. Timberly, you know me. Now, when I was in Europe... I don't know you like that, Mike. No, no, no. (laughs) I'm saying if I was, I'd tell you I don't have a problem. When I was in Europe back in the 80s, I ran around buck naked, but that's what everybody did. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't no biggie because Europeans are not caught up on sexuality, and it wasn't a sexual thing. It was a freedom thing. Right. Wasn't nobody out there just losing their mind. But I said this about Cancun to say there were young ladies that were running around naked but it wasn't a big deal because it's not about everybody trying to get on or to get in or to do whatever it's about everybody's out there on the beach they're enjoying fun in the sun and minding their business i mean and people just tow up from the flow up doula i mean me myself i was on that hennessy and coke i surely was you know (laughs) what i'm saying so uh first time i had drank anything in a long time you know so it's only Americans that get hung up uh, a lot of times on the sexual al- sexuality part of, of, of people's bodies. You know what I'm saying? Because they're all over the world, man, people are, they, they display their bodies and it's, it's nothing. You know what I mean? But you come to America and it's kind of like, oh, Lord, Jesus, you know, or somebody has to react. And that's not necessarily the case. But that's the way that we have been raised and trained Yes, and societally. Yeah, societally. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, the number to call is 260-5926, 260-5926. we got about eight minutes, and i got to plug these real quick. Uh, please, please, please. Also, next, man, they got it going on in Frazier. Also, and it may be because they're the only ones that gave me something. But anyway, uh, they're going to have the sex, <laughs> second annual Hanging in the Hood Community Festival. Uh, it's a free event. It's going to be May 6th. It's from 11 to 3. Free it's the food. same day as the 5K run. Exactly. And not far from it. How about that? Uh, it's free food, free entertainment, free life and health info. Uh, special performances by Diva Sensation and its ministry. Uh, bouncers, face painters, uh, and more for the kids. I think Dula is supposed to be there as well. Uh, it's With not on. You can be. Yeah, no, yeah, I guess so. It no, ain't. It ain't, it ain't on this flyer. And yeah. Dula has a new video out, y'all. Uh, he ain't dropped it yet, ain't dropped it yet but he got a new video out. I've but seen a, it. It's good. It's, I have. Oh. She saw a little bit of. It. I haven't even seen it. But it's the second annual Hanging in the Hood Community Festival, and it's going to be at the Hollywood Community Center. The Hollywood Community Center. And the young lady that's throwing it, her name is Cynthia, I believe. And you can actually help her. Evidently, she's been paying for this out of her pocket. Uh, but she wants to make sure that the kids have something in the neighborhood. You can go to www.gofundme.com slash hanging dash in dash da dash hood. Uh, or... You can give her a call. That's probably your best bet. Just give her a call at 901-337-6939. It's 901-337-6939. And it's going to be a good time uh, and something for the kids to do. And once again, don't forget about the second annual 5K. It's a 5K. 5K Peace Run to promote nonviolence in the Memphis community. It's going to be held out at, uh, I think they're going to start at Union Grove Baptist Church. It's being sponsored by Spencer Total Fitness Center, which is located inside the gym at uh, Union Grove Baptist Church. And it registration starts at 6.30, y'all. 
630. Registration will be from 630 to 715. Uh, or you can go online to www.raceentry.com. And also that same day, Spencer Total Fitness is going to be sponsoring Frazier versus Tresvent round four battle of the Bay alumni basketball game. It's going to be held at the uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. College Preparatory High School, which is the old Frazier High School. Uh, admission is $10 for adults and $5 for kids. And they consider kids anybody under the age of 12. So please, 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 if you have an opportunity, uh, summer's coming up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of things going on. And if, in fact, you can attend some of these, and even if you don't have money, it's time to get off the couch, people. It's time to start getting involved. Uh, you can go and help some of these people out that are trying to do things in the community to help these kids. And it don't really cost you anything. All it costs you is your time. Uh, so it's time for us as a community to start getting involved once again to take back our communities and to be those leaders in the communities and be those individuals that are going to set examples for these young people to follow. What you got, Timberly? We got about four minutes. Okay, so... <clears throat> Self-control. <laughs> Self-control is control of oneself. Mm. That means that you, the individual, is controlling of you. Between every action and reaction, there is a choice, and you make that choice. So it doesn't matter if somebody's walking around um, with no clothes on. That don't give you a right to take what they have because they are in control of themselves and you are in control of yourself. Mm. We need to teach our sons this. I teach my sons this often. You don't get to do, and they're children right now. It says train up a child in the way that he would go mm. so yeah. that when he is old, he will not depart, depart from, from it. it. Um, so we need to stop this culture of letting our boys get away with anything and penalizing our little girls based on the actions that someone who is not in control of themselves, you know, mm -hmm. we, we can't penalize somebody for somebody else's actions. If that was the case, there'd be a whole lot of people in jail for no reason. Mm -hmm. Right. That is correct. Um, so that sorry excuse of maybe folks need to wait. Folks been waiting since waiting was waiting and it still ain't kept folks hands to themselves. The only thing that can keep your hands to yourself is you. Mm. Um, that's, I'm, this culture, it just bothers me, Mike. Well, thank you so much, Timberly. And I agree. Uh, everybody, every, every person is responsible for themselves. Uh, this has been the Domestic Violence Awareness Month, I believe. Uh, unfortunately, it happens too often, too frequently. Uh, we've pointed out not only does it happen to women, but it also affects men. There are a lot of men that are in abusive relationships, and they stay in those relationships. And a lot of times uh, they're too ashamed to either seek help or to bring those relationships, uh, those abusive relationships to light. Uh, we don't condone anybody putting their hands on anybody. We don't condone anybody verbally abusing anybody. Uh, that's not your right, but it's also the right of the individuals that are involved in these relationships to have the ability to get out. Right. This has been Wake Up Memphis from Behind the Badge, brought to you by the men and women of the Memphis Police Association. And we want to thank you so much for tuning in as usual. And we want to welcome you to... Please join us again, same time, next week. So until next week, I want to thank all of the officers that have given us the ability to be able to come to you. Uh, please be safe out there. And until next time, be blessed, be strong, and be encouraged. Paying attention to the news, Memphis is off the chain. That's why we need quality officers. Baby. 
she said, I used to talk so bad about the police department all the time. I said, all y'all did was set up in map code and drink coffee and eat donuts. She said, well, baby, I'm going to tell you this. She said, from this day forward, I'm going to keep my mouth off of y'all. Y'all got a hard job. And, and I was glad that she was able to see that, you know, and it gave her a different perspective. Talk about what you think about gun violence in the city. You know, in the the Mid-South Station with the most.